Hey, hi friends. How are you doing this morning? This morning, I believe I'm speaking to champions and overcomers. Friends, you know, when the world chooses people, it always chooses the brilliant minds, the wise people who have a high IQ level. You know, even when you go for the interviews, they always look at people who can speak well, communicate well, isn't that right? Who have, uh, who are well qualified and who have a high percentage of marks. But with God, it's different. Yes, yes, yes. Look what Jesus' choice was. Acts chapter 4 verse 13. When they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized they were unschooled. Uh-uh. Ordinary men. Unschooled and ordinary men. They were astonished and they took note that these men had been with Jesus. God is amazing. God always chooses the ordinary people. You know, people that... That, that the world may look and say he's good for nothing, he's, he's, he, he's just a useless guy, you know, he's, he's, he's just, you know, he's just another person, you know, just, just, just a simple, t- simple person. Those are the people that God will pick, he will anoint, he will choose, he will call and he will use them in a mighty, mighty way. Look what it says in First, First, First Corinthians chapter 1. This is Paul writing to the church of Corinth in verse 26. It says, Brothers, consider the time of your calling. Not many of you were wise by human standards. That's it. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Right? But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly and despised things of the world and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast in his presence. He chose the foolish things of the world. Friend, this morning I want to encourage you. Maybe maybe you're looking at yourself and you're saying, yeah, Pastor, I'm, I'm, I'm good for nothing. I'm, I'm, what's my qualification? I mean, look at me. Look at how I look, you know. Uh, 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 look from where I came. Look at the village. It's, it's, it's a little town. Nobody even knows it. Uh, see my qualification. Look at my qualification. I'm a nobody. I, I'm a nothing. But friends, I want to encourage you this morning if God is calling you he has a plan he has a purpose for you and he's going to take you to such heights that is going to blow your mind off you don't even know you don't even realize that how much God cares for you he loves you and he's calling you hey don't look at yourself don't look at who you are don't look at from where you came but look at him inside you he that is inside you is greater than he that is in the world glory be to God if God has chosen you get ready get ready get ready get ready he's gonna take you from the pit and put you in the palace glory be to God he's gonna pick you from the mud and put you on the throne amen hallelujah hey it's not by might it's not by power but it is by his spirit so friends don't belittle yourself don't feel inferior who you are you are in the right place you're the right person yes you're the man You're the woman that God is calling. If you say yes, that's all you need to do is say yes. Hallelujah. And he will do the rest. God doesn't pick perfect people, but he picks us and perfects us. Glory be to God. He's chosen the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Joseph, David, look at these guys. Little people, shepherd boys, God picked them and made them mighty men. Peter, John, glory be to God, your name is next. You're next, world changer, glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God, hallelujah, glory be to God, you're next, you're next, you're next. Don't despise your smallness, just say yes. God bless you, amen.